on my BMW E46 with, uh, this will be for any M52 TU or M54 engine. I'm going to first go over removing the Vanos solenoid. The Vanos solenoid is right here and on a E46 with an M52 TU you're going to have both uh, exhaust and intake Vanos units and uh, they're controlled by oil pressure and uh, these are the two solenoids, there's one down the bottom that one's actually been replaced this one here has not been replaced um, this was replaced because there's some timing issues on this engine um, eventually I'm going to be working my way to um, pulling the cylinder head off but before I do that I'm going to do a video on setting the timing but I'm um, working my way towards the intake camshaft sensor which is a common failure on these vehicles so I just want to go over first removing the Vanos solenoid okay the Vanos solenoid is right here the first thing to do is to get this upper line out of your way here this hose that goes down to the cyclone separator now mine is actually broken on these two tabs here so I have to replace this line but you just use a 90 degree pick and see this part here is broken this should be attached there and you go on the inside here and basically you're working these tabs right here free so basically you're gonna push them out carefully and usually what you end up doing is kinda of you get one side started like that and then you would come from the inside do the same thing and then wiggle it free. Now just be careful if you pull back too fast and this is brittle you'll snap it right here and uh, that goes all the way down under the intake manifold and it's kind of a pain to do by itself but just with a little bit of finesse you can get that hose out of your way for the cyclone. You have a connector right here and this is just a very easy connector to disconnect it has a push tab spring on the top just have to push down on that and wiggle it back to get that to come free like that and that's just a two pin power and ground so the next step it's hard a lot of times to get a, a wrench in here so I like to just use a pair of vice grips So, if you flip them over and just get a good bite on it, right where uh, the solenoid is, and just give it a pop down, usually it comes free. Once it's loose, they unscrew pretty easily in most cases. Take a shop towel and put it underneath, because a lot of times you'll lose some oil. So I'm going to go ahead and spin this solenoid off. This would also be the first step to access the intake camshaft sensor. So this is the solenoid right here. It just has an o-ring on it so that is replaceable if you had an oil leak. These rarely go bad and if you have a problem with your Vanos unit, they come with new solenoids. So if you have a camshaft sensor fault or camshaft position fault, a lot of times it's actually either the intake or exhaust sensors and not the solenoid. If you do decide to replace it, they are pretty easy. Again, once this one's off, installation would be put a little bit of oil on that seal and basically just screw them back in so they're snug and it doesn't take much to tighten these up done reconnect the electrical connector and then hopefully with your non broken line here for your cyclone. Clip that back in, clear your fault memory, and uh, hopefully you're good to go.